You know how sometimes you hear something and then two seconds later you're like, wait, what? Yeah, that's me all the time. My memory is all over the place, so I rely on writing things down to circumvent any memory lapses. Journals have become my preferred method of keeping track of tasks and important information. Speaking of which, are you familiar with the distinction between planners and journals? Planners are all about getting things done, while journals are more for expressing your thoughts. Writing in my journal helps me stay on top of things and make the most of my time. I recently took a trip to Miami, but honestly, I'm already starting to forget what went down. Time to sit down with a cup of coffee and document my adventures in a journal to preserve those memories. On the first day in Miami, I visited the beach dressed in my favorite outfit, a mini dress layered with an oversized shirt to shield myself from the sun. But as soon as I hit the beach, the sun disappeared, the wind picked up, and it looked like rain was on the way. Day two was a total 180 from the first day. The weather was perfect. My friend and I strolled around downtown, put our names down for a restaurant, and snagged a table in no time. The food was delish, the vibe was cozy with all the vintage decor, and overall it was a great recommendation. Miami may be compact in size, but its offerings are vast. We checked out all the local spots and still left with an abundance of time on our hands. After a brief search on Google Maps, we stumbled upon a botanical garden nearby. Lizards everywhere, which is a common sight in Miami. The lush greenery and stunning architecture made it worth it. Definitely a must-see spot. Sweating in the Miami heat made me miss those cold Quebec days. I found this adorable French cafe and couldn't resist stopping in. The French vibes were strong. Chocolate crepes and coffee made for a perfect post-walk treat.
ended the day with some authentic Cuban coffee at a local spot recommended by our driver. First time I've had Cuban coffee and it was a game changer. The Tres Leches coffee and Havana coffee were unlike anything I've tried before. Sweet, slightly bitter, with a hint of alcohol, it was like an espresso martini in a cup. After jotting down all these memories in my journal, I feel like I've captured the essence of my Miami trip. Reading through it later will be like reliving those moments all over again. I'm done with journaling about my Miami trip. When I read my journals later, it helps me recall my memories back to it, and that's quite a pleasant experience. I got myself some new sunglasses to shield my eyes from the bright sun. They're rectangular with a grayish tint, and my friend thinks I look like the emoji with sunglasses when I wear them. I mean, do I? 